What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerp here, and I am almost back at number one. I'm rated number two right now. I think I'm about like five or so rating below Sisp. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, but the uh, ranked reset slash accelerated rating decay that happened when a release happened really was basically just a ranked reset not really uh because the rating decay took me down all the way to like 1000 from 1850 where i was at number one and once you're below 1500 you may as well have zero it's almost like when you're below 1500 you don't really lose rating that when you lose when when you win you get in 100 at a time so it's really so it really once everybody's below 1500 it's kind of like a reset but uh yeah so that's what happened on wednesday and um i'm doing well so far at number two at the moment i've been playing um a couple different decks i've been playing uh actually three different decks orders i haven't been playing as much right now but i've been playing a lot of this deck mono energy just this is just my range deck um even though it has a content of reavers not well this kind of reaver um both reavers actually not top of Rathia or not boom reaver but you know what i mean um yeah so that's been working out pretty well, even with the bombard nerf, and and uh, I'm playing some aggro growth, which has also been working out decently. Um, and I'm not too sold on this uh, fjords of vigor yet. I said they were, I said they were gonna be good, but I find myself not even really playing them much. Like this one, let's see how many times I actually played it. Yeah, I played it twice in 23 matches. So either I'm sacrificing it, or I'm just letting it sit in my hand for an opportunity that I never even get to. So, oh here. So the deck I've been mainly using lately is this deck. Undead Decay. It really should be more like Undead YOLO Decay. Uh, if you didn't know, YOLO Decay is basically very aggressive, idle hate decay, where you try to tick down those idols really fast and win later with direct idle damage. So this is basically that, but it has a lot of undead elements that recently came out in waypoints. So, has a lot of a nice early game with a lot of one drops, two drops, and three drops, um, and then centered around this uh, unique Irva, which deals a lot of damage to all the undead creatures attacking. Anima conduits, anima conduits, um, are really crucial as well. Um, you'll get a lot of revenge from them. You'll take down those idols even faster. And what makes this deck really YOLO is because of the hex marks and wicked beings. So like, even if I can't essentially win the game um, normally, um, these guys help me help me finish off the idols. And then I have a couple of grizzly grass just for the fun moments where I could win with like a big harvester. So I'm not sure if this is the best deck, but it's certainly a lot of fun to play. I've been having a ton of fun with it. So hopefully I can get a win today and maybe move into number one. So I'll be back when a match is found. All right, a match is found. Let's head right in. And Mus Musficker. Good luck, have fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Guys, I am now a Scrolls moderator. That's why I'm wearing the moderator helmet. And I think this is a good hand because I have a two drop and I have a soul steel just in case he is like growth and I really need to use soul steel and stuff like that, but yeah. So I am a scrolls moderator, uh, which means I have special moderator powers. I can use certain commands. I can I can help keep the chat team. And uh, yeah, so I think there's about like ten to fifteen scrolls moderators somewhere around there. Um, and if you ever have any problems in in a uh, chat with like people having bad behavior or maybe you just have a simple question about the game just do like slash mods and you'll see all the moderators that are currently online you can find somebody like me or any of the other guys and contact them in a whisper or something like that so he's playing order and he has kabonk so that means he probably has he's probably playing late game order and for that reason, I think it's safe to get rid of Soul Seal against Tempo Ord. It would have been good for like Wing Soldiers, Crossroom, and Aging Knights. But seeing as he's already at, he's already at, uh, gonna be on turn four next turn, and he hasn't played anything yet. 
I'm not going to be able to soul steal something most likely. Unfortunately, those Kabangs mean he'll probably have a good way to take out my, my Shamblers and or my and or my uh, Revenants. Actually, no, the Revenants have a ward, so never mind. Uh, it gets on the Harvester one, so and it also tells me he's probably has Manganel species. He probably wants that Harvester at three health, so it can die to a single man Manganel. So I'll have to watch out for this. And he's going to play it on a Rich Bar, so it means he will draw a scroll. And I draw both Irvas. It's not a huge deal, though, because I can't even play them at multiple times, but I'll play this one. And um, I'll deal damage to the middle idol, and I'm actually going to just play the Irva. This Irva is going to make a ranged attack dealing two damage. So I could get you down to one health, or I can hit this idol. I'm going to. I'm going to just hit this idol because I don't really have a follow up to kill that guy right now. So I mean, anyways, idol damage is good because I need to. A big part of this deck is winning fast, but because he's likely late game order, it means I'll probably see Imperial resources, which will heal his idols, and that's not good for me. Because, yeah. So I guess I should really focus on idols one at a time before they get healed up. And I'm actually not sure what head to wear. I have this moderator helmet, I have the ESL head, I have the ranked ladder head. It's tough to struggle, guys, it's a struggle. So he uses a kabonk there, which means the incoming Manganel in this coming turn, he can kill that. Um, sacrifice this for scrolls, another anima conduit. Anima, I think it's Anima. I don't, I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, not sure what I want to do here. He's going to do a Manganel speed in all likelihood. This Anima con it's kind of in the way that I will be Manganel speedable. Hmm. Not really sure what to do here. I think I'm gonna lose some things, and I want to protect. I want to play this Anima Conduit, and I don't want it to just die. So, and I don't really want to lure him down. I want to be able to take out the idol, so I don't really mind him killing that guy. Okay, so in all likelihood, he's gonna play a Manganel Speed right here. Uh, or on, I guess, this row, and take out both of them, and this guy takes out him, but then I have, then I have a lot of revenants on the board. Like, I have five revenants that would attack, in that case. Uh, let me close out of all these notifications. Sorry about that. So, I have a Slayer of Siege in my hand. Since that Irva's probably going to die, I'd really like to draw another Irva. Yeah, that Irva's probably going to die this incoming Manganel speed, which he does. Yep, as I expected, and he's just going to uh, do that. So... Yeah. I have a lot of Revenants. Oh, wow. And... Hex marks is good. I really would like like a restless bones. Even though they're all already attacking, just the extra crimson bull type thing would be very handy. I'm gonna keep the hex marks actually. Uh, sure. I guess I'll languid you, and then, hmm, because I take you down. Do I deal? I think I'd rather deal idle damage. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play the Rod Eater, I guess. Because I'm actually going to get a really, really, really strong Rod Eater here. Okay. So I like to go for the idle damage. Might not be the best, but whatever. And now I have a 7 2 7 Rod Eater. So he'll be a big idle damage dealer himself. Ooh, okay. 
Mustfire is playing a Prisoners of War deck, which is late game order, but oftentimes Prisoners of War is a substitute scroll instead of Imperial Resources, so that makes me feel good that he's not going to have an Imperial Resource to heal his idols. Prisoners of War is basically, it's almost like a fertile soil where you don't have to kill any of your creatures, because you're drawing three scrolls from your deck, but the problem with that is now he has probably three dead cards in his hand. Um, Grizzly Graft, I'm going to get rid of right now. It's not like I have a Harvester on the board or anything. I could go with another Languid, which I kind of want to do. Because I don't have another play, so I guess I will. This guy's double Languided. He won't be doing anything. <laughs> and if he has a Focus, then he'll go to... He'll go to two. I don't know. What do I want to do here? Um, I want to protect... You know, let's just play the Little Darkling right on this row. And just leave it at that. If he's a focus, he can take out one of these conduits, which would be unfortunate, but that's okay. Because I don't order does not have direct removal. Um, their best forms of removal are like kabonk and decimation. So this radiator should be able to survive, um, unless he gets like some crazy arbalester plays with like Rolaros and stuff. But he doesn't have enough. Oh, he does. Okay, so he does run Imperial Resources and Prisoners of War. That's a lot of ramp. Maybe he only has like one Prisoners, uh, Prisoners of War or something like that, or one Imperial Resources. I don't know. We will have to see. So now I am going to get rid of the Arhars Disciple. I do like the Double Revenants. They can be really good uh, with with uh, Restless Bones, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and good, I drew some things I could play. But I'm only going to play the Flesh Animator because I'm actually going to play Hex Marks on you right now and deal a ton of damage right there. I'll keep you on this row. And then I'll play a Flesh Animator right here. I'm still afraid of a Arbalester Speed Focus that I don't want to just outright lose that Rod Eater. So if, uh, Hex Marks deals three extra, gives a unit Idle Strike through, which makes them deal three extra damage to idols when they deal damage to it. So I was able to take out that idol right there. So things are looking good for me right now. I have two Revenants in hand, um, and I have a huge Rod Eater with Hex Marks that can one-shot idols. So I have, the, I have this Darkling as well. If I can top deck a, if I can top deck a uh, Restless Bones, this game would be all but one most likely. He has to really defend his top idol. He probably notices that I'm, I have. Uh, YOLO type scrolls like hex marks in the deck that means that I probably am going to win if he doesn't protect his idols and he doesn't protect that top idol there's a wicked being I'm actually going to keep that instead of the Meyer Shambler because wicked being basically turns any of my units into a loyal darkling because it gives him unstable one and no restless bones unfortunately if there's restless bones then I would likely be able to win especially with the no. wicked being why? No! Just you and the two of us. No! <laughs> You're so bad. Okay. So I could languid something, but I'm not gonna languid anything. I'm just gonna play the flesh animator, I think. That looks good. And I'm a little afraid of this this guy. He's a lot of scrolls he can play with. So, this is a little bit frightening. I'm going to move you like this. Put you there. And... I'm going to go ahead and just take out that idol. And now I'm going to have an even bigger rod eater soon because those revenants spawned and I will put them up there so now even if he has the, he has a lot of scrolls and a lot of resources so he can make a huge play if he wants to probably with an arbalester with piercing to get through the row but he's not going to be able to focus on these revenants and my giant threats down at the bottom of the board at the same time so it's looking good, especially if I draw a Restless Bones next turn, considering I have two Revenants on the board and two Revenants in my hand. And the reason I want to take that to sacrifice that Darkling there, 
uh, was because I wanted to take that, that L before it gets healed up by Imperial Resources, and he wasn't really doing much just sitting on the board there. I also probably wanted the Revenants right now, before the, the Anima Conduit got destroyed, and, um, and I gave the Rot Eater uh, plus 1-1. One, one. The attack didn't really matter, but extra health might come in handy, even though he already has massive health. Every bit of health is important because uh, Mustfire has a lot of ways to deal damage. And hopefully Mustfire doesn't have a decimation here to take out these two revenants. Uh, Ward does not protect them uh, from Mustfire clicking on their row with a decimation, but usually late game order decks do not run decimation. De decimation is a more tempo order, aggro order type scroll because it lets you finish off idols. Um, similarly uh, to Blood of Darklings and Wicked Beings in my deck right here. So he still is not protecting that top idol, and he just doesn't protect it at all. So I'm gonna be able to win if I draw an er Oh, Restless Bones, that's just gonna be game right there. So, and a Wicked Being. How, how many ways could I win here? If I play the Erva, then I win. If I play Revenant, Revenant, Restless Bones, then I also win. But I don't think it's possible for me to draw, destroy any other idols. So I'll just go the fun route and play the Erva for the win. So, GG, WP. So the Erva is dealing her ranged attacks, and that's why this deck is a lot of fun. I don't know, I have a lot of fun playing it. It wins really fast, so you won't get uh, really boring games, most likely. Um, they're pretty exciting, uh, they usually turn out to be. Um... It's almost like you have a ticking clock to deal as much idle damage as possible, and then you have to finish them off later. This match wasn't as too wasn't as hard for me, because my opponent really couldn't get a gripping on the board. But uh, yeah, plus nine. I think that should make me number one. Uh, I might be number one. I may not have updated yet. This suit may, might take like a couple of refreshes. But that'll be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this, and. I will see you all tomorrow.